I'm remembering myself um, at the age of, oh, let's say I might have been 10 years old. And um, look, I don't, I don't know where the thought came from or where this idea came from, but somehow I got the idea that an artist is someone who goes around looking at things and recording them. And so I remember asking my mother for a sketchbook, which she very kindly provided. And I started going around <laughs> with the sketchbook, just drawing things. And I, I, think, I think that was sort of the first, thinking back on it, that was the first glimmering of a sort of a, a sense of identity as, as an artist. This is what I am and this is what I do because this is what I am. It was the joy of forming relationships and deepening those relationships and learning, uh, learning skills, um, taking risks and sharing the joy of creating. With, with a group of women. I just love that experience. So ever since then, I've looked for opportunities to, to work collaboratively. And the thing is that in the Pacific, that's the normal way of working, you know. When it comes to art practices, the individualism is not a, is not a big thing in the Pacific. It's a, the whole thing about the Pacific culture. In, 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 they're very diverse, but the common thread is focus on community and in working together in groups. That That is, uh, you're measured by your ability to get along with others and work as a, as a group, you know. I, it was very liberating. You know, I felt liberated from the confines of self. Shall I answer that first of all from the point of view of gender? Since we're all women. Uh, I, I have uh, my parents very much to thank. Um, my parents became members of the Baha'i Faith when I was only two years old. So I was raised with principles and concepts which, um, which are Baha'i. Uh, you know, the high principles, and one of them is the equality of men and women, and the uh, the central importance of education, and in particular the importance, primary importance of the education of women. And uh, so, I was the beneficiary of that principle. And uh, so I was always encouraged to think of myself as, as someone whose role in life was to make a contribution to society, to, you know, and to work. This is, again, a Baha'i principle in action, and to be independent and to be someone who contributes to, you know, to the betterment of society, which is really what being a, being a Baha'i amounts to serving the community and, uh, and knowing what your capacity is and using it to the full. And so, you know, it was always under, I, I never grew up thinking, oh, I, you know, can I do that? Is it okay for a woman to, you know, no, that, that was never a question. So being an artist, uh, you know, this, this is what I am, this is what I, I do. The other thing is, um, I just, uh, I think love. I love, I love to work and I love my work. I, I suppose it also depends on how we see our purpose in life. You know, there's so many ways that we can express ourselves creatively. 
all of which matter. One of, one of the things I'm grateful for is all those years living, living amongst people, for, you know, where I was just one of the crowd, you know, no, nobody. Nobody more than just what, what was their norm, normal thing. No one special which was humbling and healthy. <laughs>